The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, the Samoan Joe. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. And his opponent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 218 pounds, Kenny Omega. This right here is a no-nonsense superstar. More like a no-respect superstar. They should thank the higher-ups once in a while. Don't you call yourself the savior of misbehavior? This isn't about me. That's neither here nor there, Cole. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. You can see by the look on his face that he came here tonight to send a message. He's certainly determined to prove a point, and that's that he should be on top. Well, he has the opportunity to prove that point tonight, Corey. We'll see if he's all bark. Yeah, but he's going against the superstar who refuses to ever back down from a fight, refuses to back down from any challenger. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed in that regard, but you have to appreciate his willingness to keep on fighting. isn't being given any room to recuperate. In this situation, he has to get resourceful. Oh, no! Flying with the moonsault. Kokina 
this point. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Out of the way in time. He steps foot in the ring again. Tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. There it is. The Camaro Plex is complete. Coquina Clutch. Coquina Clutch is in. Does he get him here? Yeah, he fights it off. What do you have to do to put this guy? That belongs on a highlight reel. Wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. Here is your winner. Kenny Omega! What a win for him here. He really displayed his prowess in victory. This win tonight may have been a career-defining moment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Rancho Cucamonga, California, weighing in at 178 pounds, Young Buck Nick Jackson. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. Looking at a man who's about to come face to face with his greatest nightmare. Unfortunately for him, this is one nightmare you can't wake up from. You've got to live through it. Cody will make sure of it. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star.
Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rose. From undesirable to undeniable, the prodigal son is back in WWE. And he is set to make up for lost time in a major way. Certainly an accomplished career his first time around. Well, many would say this version of Cody Rhodes is completely transformed and set to take over the main event picture of WWE. Cody Rhodes out here tonight, always a chip on his shoulder, always with something to prove. And he competes like him. But I would argue that if there is any WWE superstar who has already proven all they have to prove, it is Cody. Absolutely, undeniable every time he steps between the ropes. That is the legacy Cody Rhodes wants to uphold. But don't overlook his opponent, a superstar who is tired of living in the shadows. Simple but effective side headlock takeover. Oh, Tremendous man. pressure applied. Slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Powerless position to be in right now. Don't do this. Don't do it. in that one. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Young Buck, Nick Jackson. A big win and a big match. 
It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Rancho Cucamonga, California, weighing in at 172 pounds, Young Buck, Matt Jackson. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. He is about to face what some call the gatekeeper of this industry. Well, anyone who thinks they're any good has to prove it first against Seth freaking Rollins. The title collector is here. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. We'll start things off with Seth. Let me take this, Cole. He is a visionary. He is a revolutionary. He is Seth freaking Rollins, a man of many names, but they all mean the same thing, winner. Rollins can't be held down, and he will always adapt and rise above. Sure, what he said. But then you have a challenger who sees this as a golden opportunity. The championship may not be on the line tonight, but if you can overcome the champion here, that title shot can't be too far away, guys. Yeah, he's practically salivating for it. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Gotta hurt. Rollins firmly establishing the upper hand. Rollins is set to slay. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. This could be it. Cover for the win. Shoulders up before two. He's still got more left in the tank. Rollins dodges in the nick of time. Coming in hot. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Rollins got surprised there. Take over with a snapmare. Oh, man. A face scrape with his boot. Corey, you've been in the ring against him before. How do you tackle a brilliant tactician like Seth Rollins? Well, oh, hindsight's 20-20, but you do it by playing spoiler, Cole. You have to do everything you possibly can to disrupt Rollins' plans to get him off balance. No strategies, totally surefire. So you have to find the holes in Rollins' machinations. Check your face after that one. He's getting a little battered now. My heel hook. 
Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Oh. Oh, not to the belly. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Rollins with the wrist trap. The revolution knee. for a quick kick out. Ooh, knee right to the spine. Make your legs go numb. Oh. Knee right to the face. Oh, man. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. in the corner now. Counter it! Just in time. Oh, face buster. Set Rollins in some trouble here. DDT! He moved, but can he capitalize? Put that on face first. Time, enjoy it. Boom! Before the fist drops on your face. From the middle rope. Oh, misses the mark. Great strength being shown here. Neckbreaker position. Oh, forward to the back. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. He was elusive there. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Young Buck Matt Jackson. Here's your winner after a truly intense match. Seth Rollins can't be pleased with his performance here tonight. He won't be.